Hello, my soccer universe, to the Bundesliga review. And when I say Bundesliga, I mean, of course, both Bundesligas. And we have thrown some Austrian Cup uh, for good measure as well. Um, I did not have as much time preparing for, uh, and this, this will be the whole for this uh, week. Not as much time because I'm on family duty. I uh, have to take care of the kids since my wife is sick. So I'm um, trying to keep this shorter than usual. But you know, when I say shorter than usual, I usually manage to 15 minutes. So let's see how I manage this time around. Um, headlines again. Yep, Köln exposes Dortmund's weakness once more. Bayern doesn't perform well but gets the win and there you have already the big juxtaposition. The ones uh, play all right-ish but uh, just turn it on too late and keep losing a game that they should win and Bayern uh, doesn't play all, all the them probably should have dropped points but they get the win and this is how you win champ cha championships especially for um, Dortmund's case Bayern dropped points last week you needed to follow that one up if you want to be serious about the title challenge. Leipzig, an unglamorous win and otherwise lots of goal scores. Uh, there were quite a few games with many uh, goals scored except on Sunday that was a little bit of a downer. The other headline of Austria is that Salzburg uh, runs riot and Lask back to winning ways uh, and of course the derby. Austria win still unbeaten in the new Rapid Stadium. Let's get right to the um, results. It started with a banger that, of course, I didn't watch. <laughs> I made a video, <laughs> as you saw. Uh, but it was a really highly entertaining game. Just wow, watching the highlights was fun. 5-3 for Wolfsburg over Bremen. Bremen took once the lead, the, the first goal. Then uh, Baku Brooks uh, uh, turned and turned around, but Mo uh, Mowald can equalize. But before, Mart Weghorst, who was uh, basically a big one. In, the, in this game, gets them the lead. However, then Brooks with an own goal, so he scores on both sides, uh, and a rather a clumsy own goal, I have to say. Says, says it a 3 3, and very late on the Wolfsburg pulls away and gets the win. Very un Wolfsburg like. If you have seen the results so far, they're usually playing 1 1s, 0 0s. That 5 3 came out of nowhere, but I'm sure. Uh, people in Wolfsburg will be happy that there's a little bit more excitement because the last two years, I have to say, Wolfsburg was not very exciting to watch overall. Okay, then uh, Augsburg, Fre Freiburg 1-1, one, one, not much against TSA and then we go to Köln. First off, Köln ends their uh, winless streak uh, under Gistol. I think they had uh, 16, 18 games, something, something, something like that. Really, really long streak and Köln really looking bad. Köln actually gets finally a win and at least this Köln sympathizer. Köln is the only German team that I have two jerseys of and here, here I was thinking shall I wear this one? No, but they played in the red out uh, away and here you it's way more prominent the Carnival jersey if I put it here. Yeah, Köln gets the win and it probably wasn't that undeserved. Yes, Dortmund had more of the game, had many, many chances, especially late on. But uh, if you have sloppy defending, as uh, demonstrated after corner kicks, but twice the same goal, more or less, is scored. Where um, Hummels loses Skiri, who is on the uh, far post, and just taps it in. Uh, happens in the ninth, ha happens in the 60th. Uh, Dortmund had a few chances in there. But to be honest, it was a little, little too late. Haaland misses two chances, especially a big sitter towards the end of the game that at least could have saved them some face, but maybe they need this uh, loss. So yeah, uh, Hazard pulls from back, but it's too little too late. And the big question of Corkers, did Curran just knock out Dortmund out of the title race? I think it's too early for that. However, it shows a tendency that Dortmund has. They are super exciting to watch and I keep saying that uh, Dortmund is probably one of the most fun teams in Europe on their day. However, if they go down a goal, it's usually they're a little bit scrambling and need to find a way out, out of that. And they always, always, and probably it's because it's such a young team, they always have a um, day or two or three in a season where they just drop needlessly points against opponents that you just have to win. I think this was also the first Köln win in Dortmund in around 20 years or so. So a pretty, pretty big result right there. Uh, Leipzig, a uh, uh, rather unceremonious 2-1 uh, win over Bielefeld and Angelin and Kunku. <laughs> the two defenders are uh, getting them 2-0 uh, up 
um, in the 47th, and then it's a Sorloth misses even a penalty, uh, and Klos in the 75th pulls one back. So uh, not much ha ha happening there. Stuttgart Bayern, there was a lot happening there. Um, Stuttgart really playing well, really playing offensively, and Stuttgart becomes also one of those really fun sides to watch in Germany, and they even take the league in the 20th minute through Koulibaly. Um, and had Bayern more or less on the ropes, should have made two, easily. Uh, and then, out of nowhere, Coman makes it 1-1, then uh, a minute later, uh, they score a goal, however, there is for Kuga Kukulibali touches um, Neuer a tad bit, and there was a huge discussion in Germany. Should have been did this been called? Should this not have been call, uh, called? And and so on. In the, in the end, Var looks at it, and the referee says, "No, this is a foul because you can see how he pulls." But you know, the Stuttgart trainer said it's too little. Then everyone for Bayern says, "Yeah, it's clearly he is interfering." Ah, it was one of those uh, calls right, right there. And yeah, this could have been too much Stuttgart, but no. Just before they have Lewandowski makes it 2-1. This shocked Stuttgart for a little bit, but again, they came out, had their chance, they should have probably made it 2-2. And this is again how Bayern rolls. They get the dirty wins, more often than not. More often than not, and uh, Douglas Costa puts the game away in the 80, 87th uh, at a time where Stuttgart was really pressing for that one equalizer. Stuttgart having... For me, Stuttgart is a team that is not in my memory, because you know, when I really got uh, the, in the late 90s, when they were in one of these buildings here, they were a really exciting team to watch and were right up there and they should be right up there, but they had such a terrible record against Bayern. Even back then, Stuttgart beating Bayern is a rare, rare occasion. Uh, one of the most fun games has nothing to do with the championship race, because the championship race, we talked about the last three games, but uh, Union Berlin probably should have within 50 minutes led by four goals. That they only got two through Andrich and Kruse was a travesty. Frankfurt completely not happening. With their first shot and goal, Andre Silva makes it 1-2, and then he even gets the equalized in the 37th. Absolutely not deserved. But... Um, it gets him worse in the second half. Has to say, Frankfurt then really responded, kept the game open, was in the game, was only in the first 15, 20, 20 minutes, where they were completely outclassed by Union. But then Bastos gives them a lead, which at that time maybe was not necessarily deserved, but you know, uh, it was also not unexpected in, in, in a way. But Max Kruse gives them the equal, and I think it ends in a draw where Union, yes. If you have if you have your phone up within 20, 20 minutes, the game is done and does it. So you let Frankfurt a little bit back into, into the game. And Frankfurt is a good enough squad to take care of that. Um, Gladbach 4-1 over Schalke. Uh, Leverkusen Hertha 0-0. And then Mainz had a lead against Hoffenheim, but it ends also 1-1. So if you look at the standings now, the picture becomes clearer and clearer. We have Bayern now four points ahead of Dortmund, so the, uh, within the top four, but uh, two points ahead of Leipzig, Leipzig and one ahead of Leverkusen. Leverkusen, if they would have won, would have been also moving two points more, they would be one point behind Bayern. So uh, a chance missed for Leverkusen for sure as well. Um, Bayern's jump as the Champions League favorite is, uh, I think, over 10% 10, 10 because everything kind of went for them. Only Leipzig is now a close contender as well. Uh, we have also some movement in, in the midfield, may, uh, mainly Augsburg, Eintracht up, Stuttgart, Bremen down, uh, Gladbach getting closer and Union draw, dropping out of the fixed European spots. However, if they keep it up, they might go in there. And on the bottom, we have... Köln coming up out of the releg relegation zone and pulling Mainz and Bielefeld in there. I hope this is not uh, this is uh, prolonged and not a uh, short stay up there. But if I look at the percentages, I mean, Köln has a much better rating than most of these teams down there. Uh, in the next round, we have the big Berlin derby. This is a, fr a Friday. Evening game, uh, Frankfurt Dortmund. I think is another one that is a trap game potentially for Dortmund because Frankfurt is also one of those teams that can play really attractive, but sometimes it can be really disappointing. But the big one is of course Bayern Leipzig. Ah, uh, we don't need to look much further than that one. That's the chance now for Leipzig to pull Bayern a little bit back. However, I think that Bayern will put all the focus on that game. Uh, injuries be damned. 
Uh, Schalke, Lever Leverkusen on Sunday, and then we have, have a Monday evening game between Hoffenheim and Augsburg, but probably I will not wait for that game to make my review video. Moving on to the to Austria, where we first had some cup action. Um, already on Saturday we had Klagenfurt uh, beating Floridsdorf, which is in Vienna, one of the districts. Sturm, uh, this is a traditional duel, but you know, Sturm over Wacker, Innsbruck, Wacker, Innsbruck, unfortunately is no longer good. And then a rather entertaining 5-3 game, I didn't see much of it, I know that during that game the news broke that Maradona uh, passed away. And then the big upset, uh, Vienna beating Alltag 2-1. The other games are being played uh, once all the Champions League, Europa League are over, uh, with the big clash of course between Salzburg and Rapid. Bundesliga, uh, Hartberg, I think was a perfect three to win for them um, over Admira. Salzburg running riot. I think the, I scolded them that they didn't take the chances at Bayern. I think here every chance was a goal, more, more or less. I mean, they rolled over St. Pölten. St. Pölten is not that bad of, of a team, but they have trouble uh, playing against the very top teams, especially the ones that are with a high press. 8-2. Uh, Berisha Shoboslai, Adeyeme Shoboslai with a penalty, two penalties by Shoboslai. In the 25th, it was already 4 0. Uh, Shoboslai and it's now on Koita, Koita, Koita. So, two players scoring three goals. Sturm, Tirol, 1 0. Um, Lask saw that game, uh, put lots of focus on that one. Unfortunately, Milan was also uh, playing, playing the same thing, but with a half hour delay, so you know, uh, it was manageable. Uh, Having dominance in the first half, having a goal uh, called out uh, um, off because um, Gruber kind of was in the side of the goal goalkeeper, which angered me a little bit because it's some smarter thing. Could have been one nil, and the game would have been much easier. They even get a penalty. Yes, it was a very soft pen penalty that then Eggestein. Uh, one of the worst penalties I've seen this season. And yeah, the two Fulham ones were worse. Um, and then after the so it ends nil-nil at a time where we really think it should be one, if not two. After they have Altach actually for like 10, 15 minutes, rather da da dangerous. And uh, there was a missed uh, call by the refs where two Alta players would have run alone on onto goal. They called offside and it was not. However, then Eggestein makes it 1-0 in the 65th and six minutes later he gets his second goal. Um, unfortunately, at the same time, Gruber is now injured out. I hope this is not another in injury because we have an injury problem at the moment and I don't know what team we will play against uh, um, Spurs, especially the defense. I'm a little bit worried there. Uh, but then Karamoko com comes on, a French uh, striker that we got from Wolfsburg, at least uh, on loan. Uh, that I've been waiting for uh, playing and he actually was lively. I actually liked the way he, he played and he actually uh, converts a penalty late on to make it 3-0 convincing. Wolfsburg Reed. Uh, Wolfsburg had a lot more trouble with Reed. Yes, they take, take the lead and the Reed goal goes even down uh, a man, but they get a late penalty and it ends 1-1 like in the cup game they had. Um, so... Reed is a pretty tough team uh, to play against, and Lask is playing against them next week, which is a uh, local derby, more or more or less, but it doesn't have much significance. It has more significance for Reed and for us, I think, Barcelona Real Madrid, anyway. Um, Rapid in the derby also takes an early lead through Schick. They were the huge favorites, but Austria has not lost in a new stadium, as I said. Uh, Wimmer equalizes then. I think my, my repeat had a little bit more of the game, but it was not a great game overall. And the big derby ends 1 1. So in Austria, the standings are also now clear. Salzburg gets a huge boost in rating, and now they're even more favored to win the championship. But Lusk moving uh, and confirming basically second spot because Rapid now dropped twice points in a row. Um, but you know, those three will make it very, very safely into the player playoff round and then it's a big um, probably Sturm as well and then we have to see who else if St. Pölten and Tirol can hang on or if Wolfsburg can move in there or even Austria win so we have to see where this is developing I don't really want to make make call but pro probably the table here uh, the way the percentages are is not really lying uh, in the next round Normally, you know, it's not a big clash, but Lask Reed is, as I said, is a derby. I think Austria Wien Sturm is probably the big name game in there. Uh, the Europa League starters, otherwise, or the European starters have otherwise relatively easy, easy games. So I really hope that Lask actually can get a win to 
get a little bit out of trouble here. Well, that was it for the Bundesliga, as I said, 15 minutes. It's always like that. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel to see more videos like, like these. Let me know what you thought about the games happening in this Bundesliga, especially Dortmund, Bayern, whatever. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the little bell icon as it will remind you whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.